that's the thumbnail. Here are my thoughts on the DJI Air 3S and whether you should upgrade. So yeah, this isn't the 3S, I just put a, a sticker on and this isn't LiDAR either. It's just a, a, it's just a tash in it. But just pretend it is for now. I'm just gonna do a quick video because I don't really do these and I wanna see how it goes. But here are my thoughts considering I bought this, when was it, August last year? and it brought success to the channel. And a lot of you subscribed because of this. I did an in-depth guide breaking things down video by video covering each one. And I thought that was the best way because this was a big jump for me going from a Mini 2, which I'm still rocking by the way, uh, to this. And I was just so overwhelmed with everything. And the only way to learn this drone was to break every topic down discovering how amazing the Air 3 was. And now they brought out the DJI Air 3S. I haven't pre-ordered it yet. I haven't uh, received one from DJI, even though I was hoping maybe getting this and the Avada 2 might have helped, but there's still not enough apparently. So maybe drop a comment down below if you think DJI should send me stuff in the future. Where's my thoughts going with this? So first of all, let's do a comparison between the two drones because there are some slight differences. And if you were wondering whether, if you already have this drone and you bought it, why I convinced you when I bought this to get the Air 3 and now you're thinking, should I upgrade to the Air 3S? In short, I'm gonna tell you straight up, wait, you do not need to buy this or upgrade to this, I should say, if you already have the Air 3 and you're an average consumer. Like there's, I, I said this in my short, spend the 1300 or 1400 or 1500 euros dollars or whatever it's going to be take a vacation go on vacation take the air 3 with you and go and get some shots because that's where your money should be going on not on the air 3s because that's not going to make a big difference however if you are coming from maybe a mini drone whether it's a mini 2 3 4 or you're coming from a older generation drone like the dji air 2s and you think now is the time to upgrade, then yeah, definitely go for the Air 3S because that is probably DJI's best drone, maybe the best drone, consumer drone on the market. It's, it's incredible. Even this thing was incredible when it came out and they just made improvements to it. So let me cover some of the comparisons just in case you don't know, because I know I've watched a few YouTubers already who have made these videos, but I've done research beforehand. I knew what I was expecting because of all the leaks. I don't tend to do those videos because I'm not a fan of it. But yeah, let's start. I'm all got the comparison page here, so I'm just gonna go through it. It is slightly heavier, but it's not insignificant. You'll be fine with the drone rules, uh, whether you're US, Canada, EU, you're gonna be in the best shape ever because uh, you can fly in the A1, A3 category. England, God knows, because it's a complete mess. But yeah, weight is fine, uh, in, insignificant. Speed is fine. Uh, there's nothing different there. There's a one minute less flight time labeled on paper with the Air 3S with this. That's probably because of the bigger weight and the addition of the LiDAR, maybe dropping it a bit. But real world, you're probably going to get around 35 minutes. It's still going to be the best. What else are we looking at here? Uh, so the main thing is, I'm looking right at it, where the, the tash is, so we have here a much bigger camera unit, and the main difference here is a 24mm now has a 1 inch sensor. I don't know why people threw such a fuss with the Air 2S, and this were going to over 1, over 1 1.3, but it now 1 inch sensor. And it's also a 50 megapixel sensor, so photos you're going to get slightly more pixels as well. The other great thing is now internal storage is 42 gigabytes and not eight gigabytes. So that is a great thing. So if you forget your memory card, not that I normally do it, that's only happened to me once. I normally have a memory card all the time, just in case something happens to the drone, you can always just take it out and you can use the memory card still. But it's good to know that it has that huge amount of internal storage. The other great thing here is that with video in normal mode, the ISO range is peaked up, especially when it comes to nighttime to 12,800. But for D Log M, which is the one I recommend because it has the most dynamic range, which has got 14 stops now, it's actually improved. It's just 12, now it's 14. And your ISO is going up to 6,400 instead of the 32. Video bitrate has also dropped from this, this was 150 megabit bitrate. The Air 3S is now 130 megabit rate, but DJI have said on their website that it's big, they've done some processing to make it more efficient so file sizes aren't so big. Until I get the drone, we can do a comparison. 
But again, people are throwing a fuss that why is the bitrate dropped, but maybe there's improvements in efficiencies in the way they code video. We can now film 4K 120 rather than 4K 100 on this. Again, I don't really do much slow motion footage, but I possibly will because tomorrow's video you'll see is basically on slow motion to do with the 6700. But when I get the drone, we can do some more testing because I do want to do some more action stuff. The again, oh, the main one here is the LiDAR on the Air 3S. I think that is the probably my favorite addition to the drone and that's going to shape the future. I don't know if that's going to drop into the Mini line. Definitely probably drop to the Mavic line when they release the new Mavic 4. I, it, it's difficult to tell with the Mini because it's such a small drone. How do you pack all that technology and keep it under sub 250? Especially with the drone rules changing all the time. But these safety features added means that the matrix charts that all these countries develop need to be adjusted too because they're becoming out of date. Rules are becoming out of date because this is probably one of the safest drones. Well, the Air 3S is probably one of the safest drones. They've made it safe to be able to fly at night and it, one of the best features you've got next-gen smart home. So you don't even need GPS for it to take off. You can just take off and it will start mapping the area around you. This is from what I've seen from other YouTubers. And even if you lose GPS satellite, it will come home. And this is actually a great thing that I made a video not long ago about the GPS issues happening here in Cyprus, where if you lost satellite signal, the drone thinks it was in Beirut, so it starts flying away. Not that it's happened, but this is, this is amazing. So now, technically, I won't have an issue when flying in Cyprus buying that drone because it should return to me and not think it's anywhere else because of this smart gen stuff. I have to test this and experience this, but I think DJI have solved this problem that I mentioned in that video. So yeah, the other benefit is that even though the vision, the vision assist system, which is I absolutely love, I have it all the time where you can see out the sensors. So if you're doing a pullback shot, you can see what's behind you. So you still got your framing, but you still know what's behind you. It's like a view, view, rear view mirror in your car. Now you have a downward one. So you can check what's happening downwards if you're trying to lower your shot. Even at night, amazing. Uh, what else is there that there was that, that Another creator also mentioned that the the transmission is the same, 04, which we know is fantastic. I absolutely love it. There's a short I made that I got stick for because I said the wrong thing, but it's the same principle. I meant 04 transmission system is amazing. Now they've made enhancements for it, so it doesn't matter which way you're facing, that you get better signal, whatever. Again, this is something I have to test, but any improvements in that is obviously a good thing. They're going in the right direction. The other thing here is the batteries. And the good thing is the batteries are the same. However, they've got slightly more milliamp hours and they have this smart offline feature. I can't remember what the word was for it. What was the word? Off state quick transfer. So they have, this only works with the new batteries. It's not a firmware thing. So this is something that I made in a video as well about a DJI light cut where when I tried to offload the footage with this and use DJI light cut, the drone had to be on, the lights were blinking. It was kind of annoying. What if you're on the go, you're at a bar and you wanted to use the drone, you're going to have all these flickering lights. Now these batteries have, and I got this from Air Photography and I'm glad he's the only one that's actually shown this, where switch on DJI Light Cut, you connect to the drone, the drone recognizes it, but you don't need to unfold it. There's no blinking lights, the gimbal isn't activated or anything, and it's just there, it delivers the content and you can edit. That is fantastic. That's the benefit of the batteries, the new batteries only. It's not to do with the drone. And it also works with the Air 3. So if you did pick up the new batteries, you could have that feature. So you can gain a feature by just picking up the new set of batteries. Uh, what is there else? I f have I mentioned everything, I think, for comparison for this video? I know this is not the normal type of stuff. I'm not going to have too much B-roll. I just want to do a quick talking head and just discuss my thoughts. Because am I impressed? Of course I am. I am impressed with this because I love this drone. And I think getting it will be, mean this becomes a great backup. I will have an extra set of batteries, even though they're not the, the same off-line batteries that I can use for DJI Light Cut. Just having an extra set that still gives me the same flight time, essentially, is good. So if one drone goes down, I can still carry on, send it to, back to DJI to get replacement or whatever happens. I think these two drones together will be great for a small business trying to capture real estate, commercial real estate, especially when it comes to nighttime flying. Do you know what? Now I think about it, 
I did last year. I actually made a reel about this as well. I did a Christmas shoot in Toronto at a distillery district, and it was all planned. It wasn't random. I obviously had a lot of communications, insurance, and that lot. And there was a lot of people there. So I had to use waypoints to keep the flight safe. And Vision Assist, I don't believe, was out at that time. But using waypoints really helped keep the flight safe. It got me all the shots. This dittery was really happy. However, I've had the LiDAR with the night omnidirectional sensing that they had. That would have been even better for safety because then it can work its way back without bumping into anything. And it is a tricky area to fly. So that's something that I could have needed. So this is definitely in the step in the right direction. I don't think there's anything else on here, my mic is on, that, they, that has changed that I can think of significantly in terms of improvement. That's why I say, if you already have this, there's no need to upgrade if you're the average consumer, don't spend that money. But if you are coming from a mini DJI 2S, oh my God, you, you, it's a no brainer. If you have, if you want to upgrade, this, that's the drone to upgrade. It's going to be amazing because that is definitely going to set the future for the Mavic Air, the Mavic 4 when that comes out. God knows all the additions that they're going to have to that. The Mini, I'm not sure. It's going to be very tough. You can imagine adding like uh, an extra focal length and LiDAR. It's going to push it overweight. I think the next thing here is I haven't actually ordered it yet. So you guys have to help convince me because DJI Cypress are taking forever to like have it on their website. I can order it from Amazon, but it doesn't arrive to the end of the month. And then I'm going to be in England a week later. So I could just wait another week and get it when I'm in England. But you guys have to convince me in the comments, just order it and get it and rush. I need to get my A2C A2 of C done in England, even though I don't think I'm going to fly much in London because of the regulations are a complete mess. But I can still make content on it in the rural areas away from people just to do all the initial testing because that's definitely the drone I'm going to take. I could use it for a potential job coming up and it will already pay itself off. So I'm not worried about that. I think it's a fantastic drone. So if you're someone who's thinking of starting a business and to get into commercially, because I'm guessing they'll probably release an SDK soon for this, the Air 3, to do semi beginner commercial work, because the Air 2S is that, this is gonna be fantastic. I mean, for now my sticker will suffice on my Air 3 here with its S badge. But those are my thoughts on the DJI Air 3S. Let me know what you think. What videos do you want to see? Do you, I obviously want to do more comparisons. Convince me to get the drone. Um, are you going to buy it? If you are going to buy it, what is the main factor that you're going to buy it? Like what is the thing that convinced you? Is it the one it sends up? Is it the LiDAR? Is it because it's a bigger drone? I've rambled on so much. You know what? Let's just leave it there. Enjoy tomorrow's slow motion video. Just drop all your comments down below. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting the channel. And let's keep this going and see you in the next one. Peace.